Oh. All right. Uh, Jesus. Fuck me. <laughs> what a way to start off with the most obnoxious shit. Him moaning and me fucking munching on a carrot. That's oh, right. guys. Welcome to episode 28 of the Sports Bowl. Um, we're in person again. Yep. Um, little things before him. Um, first off, Jesus Christ. Birthday boy. He's just turned 22. That's right. And with that, I have a gift for you. That? So, don't look. Close your eyes or whatever. Eyes closed. closed. Now, I tried. I fucking tried. My heart is to buy him a pair of sneakers because he's a sneakerhead. That's true. But when I did, they when they sent them to me, they were the wrong fucking size. So then I went a little differently. No sports. I'll show the camera first of what I got him. There's that. Um, so basically, um, I told him it wasn't sneakers. Or it wasn't sport, or it wasn't sports related either. But that is somewhat false. I will <laughs> give this to you right now. Keep your eyes closed. Yep. I'm gonna have you guess what this is. With my eyes closed. Yes. <laughs> Don't fucking stroke <laughs> it in front of me. Jesus Christ. That's such a pause. I don't know. It, it feels like it might be like a, a figurine or some shit. Am I am I off? Stop fucking stroking it, dude. <laughs> yes, you are off. Okay. Um, you have three guesses, by the way. It's not like a trophy, is it? That's guess number two. You are wrong again. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, big, long. Don't know if it's... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh, huh not a car is it a car it just feels like the size of something like a a car would come in okay you're wrong okay so um i'm gonna have you open your eyes in three oh two one. Oh, word yep that's sick that's the same thing basically oh, isn't it? it's yeah basically yeah but that's it's made sick. just for just for oh sick yeah I will be installing this. That is sick. Yep. I thought that you would need a like have a nice little upgrade from your current mic that you use. I appreciate home. that. Yeah. So I was like, Thank fucking, you. You got it, brother. You got it. That, so um, yeah, that costs just as much as the fucking uh, as the the, the shoes. Oh. Like, like, those damn. Are like those are like two hundred. That was like two hundred like seventy bucks. Damn. Yeah. Good this stuff. Yep. So, there By we the go. way, he's got a birthday coming up too, so you know, eventually we'll be doing this again. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck. That, that's going to be so fucking bad. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know. I don't even, I, yeah. Is that a fucking, what the fuck is that? Is that a Pokemon on your fucking charging dock right here? Oh, no, that is, I believe, a chipmunk. Or some type of animal. You guys could guess that in the comments. Oh, it's a, it's, I think it's a fuck. It's it's a dog. Yeah, it might be. It's just like a corgi or some shit. Or something like that. All right. So that's why I said it was somewhat sports related because we have because it's a podcast. That does make sense now. Yeah. So that's why I guessed a car. I was like, I, I was like, I don't know if like. It's some sports themed car? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Um fucking I, w I was looking for like um I was looking at like Anthony Volpe like memorabilia. Oh, that's sick. But I was kind of I was sitting there I'm like that's probably like too fucking obvious. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so I was kind of just like you know, I'll just get a, a, something that's like completely out of the fucking ordinary. I appreciate it. Yeah, you got it. You fucking got it, brother. Fucking got it. Jesus Christ, you going to get that back on there? I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll just break the news. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Storm. 
messed up my finger at work, so uh, everything's ten times longer. Except for including your dick. oh, fucker, <laughs> 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 fucker. All right, let's get into the fucking list. What do we got today? Uh, basketball, miscellaneous, football. You know, uh, what's the other sport? Baseball, right? Sorry, I don't know why I'm missing baseball. We are, you know, number one. In the league. The GOATs. The evil fucking empire. That's right. Is is fucking now the best team in baseball, so. Yeah, goaded. So uh, what do you want to start with? Let's start off with um, basketball. All right. So uh, very interesting news. There's a new WNBA team in Golden State. They are branded as a purple and black team, so this might be your team. And they are the Golden State Valkyries. It's in California, so it will not be my team at all. I respect that. Yeah. I do respect that. Yeah, no. Um, Fuck no. New York Liberty have started the season 7-2, and two, I believe. Let's go. Sabrina Ionescu is fucking goaded right now. That's right. Caitlin Clark and the Fever are terrible. <laughs> yeah. They are 2-8. and eight. Y- y- Yeah. Um, they, yeah. But they did beat, which uh, I think the, like the one ho- home winner that they have. It was against fucking Angel Reese and the uh, yep. Chicago Sky. I think that's the team, right? That's the team, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was like, of course, it, of course, of fucking course it was them. Of yeah. Of course. It was uh, the Champion Center's first game on the Sky, too. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sabrina Ionescu set the franchise record with 18 career game scoring 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. Is that consecutive, or is that... Uh, no, it's just all time. Oh. Um, Fever Caitlin Clark dropped her career high in the WNBA, though. She had a 30-point game. Oh, shit. Of course, they lost. They lost to the, uh, I forget who it was, but they, their other win was the Los Angeles Sparks with Cameron Brink. They only won by five. So, yeah, the Fever are not that great. Have you seen the amount of beef Caitlin Clark's been getting into? Yeah, but what is that about? (laughs) What is it, like... my thing is, I truly think it's just women in the league are mad that they're not being advertised like she is. But she's the one that's bringing the viewership. I agree. And I can see somewhat Angel Reese would be mad. Well, yeah, because she's like the other top name that was in the draft, too. Yes. That, because that, cause that rivalry between those two, it's like it's pretty fucking big. Yeah. So for her to get... Caitlin Clark to get um, more recognition. I can see where she's probably... But like I said, she's the one... All eyes for like the last like two years when it comes to women's basketball or whatever are, were on fucking her. Exactly. So, she's the reason they're making more money, which is giving them charter charters, flights. Charter flights, yeah. So anybody to hate on her in the league is just dumb. Sorry, but it, it's you're dumb. Exactly. Because she could leave and go play for the big three, which she's already been offered. And right. make a hundred times, if not more, money to play for them. Right, exactly. Uh, I will say, though, they should have, for, like, Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark, done more of a Magic Johnson-Larry Bird combo advertising set right. than just Caitlin. But I understand it. Right, yeah. But, you know, could do a little bit better advertising, I guess. But still, stop, you know, bullying her. Quite yeah. literally pushing her on the ground for no reason is not, you know, a basketball move at all. When she could be the reason why you, why they could be possibly paid more than what they're getting now. Exactly. Uh, just to prove the point more, the Caitlin Clark effect, I'll call it. Tickets to regular season WNBA games this year are more expensive than the cheapest tickets to the WNBA finals last year. Really? Yeah. How much what, what, did, did you put how much they were? Or? Uh, game 1 tickets to the WNBA Finals last year were $47. There are cheap seats for new WNBA regular season games this year that are $127. Significant difference. Like, the, that's the cheapest? Yeah. That's like... It's almost like the cheapest good tier seats that you can get at like Yankee Stadium and shit. Yeah. Where does where does um does New York Liberty play in um MSG or is it Barclays? It's Barclays. I was gonna say if it's fucking MSG 
they prob th those tickets have probably fucking like so much money. They probably still even are because it's a fucking New York team. Yeah, they are expensive, but I mean, I feel like they're definitely cheaper than most events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, if it was MSG, then those probably I wouldn't be surprised if those were like two, three hundred dollars for a fucking ticket, just a normal ticket. Yeah, yeah. Especially when the Knicks, the cheapest seats are like what? Three hundred. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? It's crazy. Exactly why I didn't go to a Knicks playoff game. When you when you went, how much were the tickets? Because that because that was Knicks Lakers. Yes, I believe I paid a hundred and fifty around ish for tickets, and they were like mid level. They're pretty decent seats. Okay, and yeah, that's that's and that was before, before fucking prices yeah. of everything fucking went. So those seats now for probably in a regular season would probably run you probably around three hundred dollars if I guess. If not more, yeah. Yeah, that's fuck. It's fucking ridiculous. It's but, crazy. But what? But I. But what do we know? We live in like the fucking the state with the most taxes and shit like that, where everything's the most expensive. So. Yeah. So I mean, of course we're gonna fucking have to deal with the most expensive shit, but. You whatever. know, we're also the best though. So you know, got to take what you take. Exactly. Um. Caitlin Clark signed a multi-year partnership deal with Wilson. This includes a signature basketball collection. This makes her the first athlete since Michael Jordan to do so with the brand. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Uh, the other night, Mercury Diana Taurasi became the oldest player in WNBA or NBA history with a 30-point game. Wait, what? She is the oldest person in basketball history. Oh, the, old, oh, the oldest, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got... How old is she? She's basically LeBron's age, but she's older. I think it's a couple months. So she's like 40 almost. Yeah. I was, I was about to say, like, how much older are we talking about? So are, I was like, so you just you couldn't just say she's just older, she's older than LeBron? She's not... Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, she's she's... She's LeBron's age, but just older. Yeah. Like, what, like, like how much older are we talking? But uh, thanks for clarifying. I was like, what, like, what the fuck do you mean? Yeah, I get that. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, my girls, my girls are cooking. Fever Caitlin Clark joins Liberty Sabrina Ionescu as the only players in WNBA history to record 150 or more points, 50 or more rebounds, and 50 or more assists in their first 10 career games. The only two. And they're both mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, all right. That is the WNBA. Now we're into basketball. Oh. So we are basically going to do a recap for a minute. Celtics beat the Cavaliers without Donovan Mitchell to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. Mavericks beat the Thunder to advance to the Western Conference Finals. Pacers beat the Knicks in Game 7 at Madison Square Garden ah. to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. Knicks' Jalen Brunson broke his left hand. Uh, Timberwolves come back down 3-2 to beat the defending champion Nuggets in Game 7 to advance to the Western Conference Finals. So, guaranteed that there will be a first time in NBA history that there will be six different championship teams in six consecutive years. Celtics sweep the Pacers with Tyrese Halliburton injured to advance to the NBA Finals. Jalen Brown won Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Mavericks beat the Timberwolves 4-1 to advance to the NBA Finals. Luka Doncic won Western Conference Finals MVP. For the record, people, we, me and him, since the Knicks got eliminated, have wanted Dallas to go through a win. I think it's fucking possible. 100%. I think it's fucking possible. Oh, no. 100%. Does he? He has a oh. 100%. He I didn't wear it here because I thought it'd be too hot. Yeah, yeah. But I have the new champions jersey for the rest of the pod <laughs> with the tag still on it, and I just hit the finger. <laughs> Let's go, Mavs. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you fucking go. It, it was so funny because when I was looking for gifts too, store, but my mom was like, well, "How come you don't get like a fucking like jersey or something?" I'm like, <laughs> "This fucking guy has almost every jersey that he could possibly want currently right now, 
for basketball, football, baseball. He has every fucking team hat. I'm pretty yep. sure you do, right? Uh, I don't, but basically, yeah. Who, who's, which ones do you don't have? Uh, about 15 teams, but basically... I, at this point, am just waiting for teams to win championships ever since I started my championship hat collection. Yeah, so he has every... At this point, I'm just like, you got to win to be on my wall. Okay, fair enough. Um, So, yeah, he has every fucking... Almost every hat, every uh, championship hat since 2020, I believe it was, right? Yep. Um, Yeah, so I was like... And he has a lot of sports shit, too. He has a Brett Gardner poster, a fucking... Uh, Eagles action figures and all that shit. Oh, yeah. I was like, I can't fucking give him more sports shit because he already has so much <laughs> of it. So I was like, fuck it. The fucking microphone. Let's go. Yeah, that's um, sick. But, um, yeah. Fuck it. But, uh, you know what's so significant about this jersey, too? What? It's the only jersey I have left that does not have a championship yet. Really? But that's only for the next two weeks because the Mavs are going to win in six. I was gonna say five. Given the Celtics leeway. See, the, the, the thing is, like, between those two, te- it's fucking bullshit how the Celtics got there because, like, I agree. It was like a fucking cakewalk for them because they're yeah. blessed with dealing with shittier teams. Like, even though, like you said, the before the West is more of a competition than it is than it is in the East. Yeah. Um, because the Boston had. Um, they had the teams that they were going against. They were um, either all of them, were, a lot of their good players were fucking injured, or the team just wasn't, just didn't show up. Yeah, uh, technically every series they did have injured players. So yeah, they had Donovan Mitchell out for the Cleveland one. Then he had Tyrese Halliburton out for the Pacers one. Who did they face before those? Two? Jimmy Butler was out for the Heat. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. So it was a cakewalk for them. The fucking Mavericks, though, they had to go through the fucking Thunder, yep. the fucking Timberwolves. What was the one before? The Clippers. One? And the and the Clippers. Clippers but, round one. Yeah. The amount of stars Luke has been through alone. And also the memes. I love the memes. I cannot wait for Luca to be doing this to Jason Tatum. Oh, I, I can't wait. Uh, yeah. Oh. Kyrie's second ring. Either way, someone new is gonna win a fucking ring. That's true. He like. I don't want Boston because New York fan fucking don't like Boston. But he has another reason why he doesn't want Boston to win. Why is that? Lakers, Lakers, you, you cannot break the tie that LeBron tied. If LeBron wasn't a Laker this season, I'd walk into the finals neutral. But. But because LeBron was a Laker this season, that means that on LeBron's watch as a Laker, if the Celtics win, LeBron let the Celtics take the lead again. I can't, I can't have that. Exactly, yeah. That That's just disgusting. For your sake, yeah, for your fucking mental health sake. Fucking, <laughs> yeah, you can't have that. Uh, shout out Mavericks' Derek Lively Jr. He became the only player to go perfect from shooting in the conference finals. He shot 16-16. Um, did you see Anthony Edwards' Game 3 dunk versus the Mavericks? Yes. Dunk of the playoffs? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was just insane. Yeah. I was just making sure. If you guys haven't seen it, look it up. Yeah. Incredible dunk. Absolutely. Anyways, massive amount of a paragraph. I mean, it's almost a whole screen about Celtics-Mavericks. Look at this shit. Just for some... This is... How much we go into for these podcasts, too. Like, I'll get back to your spot. But, like, all this, all that. Look at that shit. Yeah. For the fucking podcast list. Fucking hell, there we go. So, uh, Celtics Mavericks NBA Finals is NBA scriptwriter genius. And here's the paragraph why. Kyrie Irving's first trip back to the finals since being with LeBron in Cleveland. Ring without LeBron to prove himself like Kobe and Shaq split vibes. Incredible. Um, Luka Doncic, first time in the NBA Finals. Tatum in the Celtics, second time in the Finals in the last three years after losing to the Warriors in 2022. Redemption, maybe? Celtic center Kristaps Porzingis worked with Luka and the Mavericks fairly recently. In the last few years, he was a Maverick with Luka. 
Kyrie got traded from the Cavs to the Celtics to play with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown when they were little boys because he wanted out of LeBron's shadow and then promised he wanted to stay with the Celtics and then ghosted them during free agency to join Kevin Durant in Brooklyn. Mavericks head coach Jason Kidd. He won the 2011 championship with the Mavericks, and now he's trying to win with as a head coach with the Mavericks. Uh, Grant Williams played for the Celtics until this season when he played for the Mavericks. The Mavericks traded him this season for P.J. Washington, and now both teams are in the finals without him. Amazing storytelling by the NBA. Just absolute beauty. I'm pretty sure that this happened, too. I'm pretty sure Luka... When Lucas started playing for the Mavericks, I'm pretty sure Dirk was still playing for the Mavs when Luka was in. I believe he played his final season, yeah. Hold on, I'm going to look. I'm pretty sure, because I thought I saw a picture. Dirk's at all the games all the time, too. Well, yeah, but I mean, uh, like, actually, like, playing, though. Yeah. Yep. Sure is. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a, that, that's a very old Dirk, too. Yeah. I don't even... <laughs> that was Dirk when he was walking on the court the whole time. Yeah, fucking, yeah. Look at Mavs. I want to look at Mavericks debut. Like, when he debuted, like, what year? Look at Donish debut. I want to say 2017. 2018. 18. Uh, Dirk. Nowitzki. I think he retired in 18 as well. Uh, yeah. 19. 19? Damn, he's, he's a 21-year player. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep. Actually, no. 25 years, because he was playing in fucking... He was playing in Germany beforehand. That's true, yeah. 14-time All-Star, Finals MVP, champion. He only went, won one championship? Yep. Am I... I thought he won another one. Nope. Who won in 2007, then? 2007, the year after the Heat, I believe that's the Spurs. Uh, finals 2007. Yeah, it is. It is. Yep, you're right. I thought I I I thought Mavericks won two in like in like the last like ten years. Nope. No, nope, I guess I'm wrong. Fucking hell. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I put predictions, but I'm pretty sure we're both Mavs. You said Mavs in four or five? In five, okay, I have Mavs in six. I truly don't think the Mavs can win if it goes to game seven in Boston, but we'll see. Um, again, talking about memes, shout out TikTok and Instagram sports highlights to the Nasty Girl song. I don't know if you guys have uh, seen it online at all, but uh, absolute masterpieces. I love that they find the most sus clips to start them off with. It's just so stupid, but yeah. absolute, absolute comedy. Um, NBA legend Bill Walton died from cancer. Uh, rest in peace to a Hall of Fame legend. Someone from the NBA today just got cured from cancer today. Really? I didn't see that. I saw it. It just popped up. Uh, uh, Alonzo Mourning. Really? He had surgery to remove his prostate. I didn't even know he had during prostate stage three cancer. Died. Yeah. He got he just got it removed today, so That's sick. But that that's is sick. Yeah. It went from someone dying from cancer to someone getting cured from cancer. That's well, right. Unfortunately we're gonna take a dark twist again. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh Nuggets Aaron Gordon's brother Drew oh, yeah, Drew Gordon. Dead. Yeah. He was a former NBA player. He died at thirty three years and old in a car, car accident. accident. Yep. So uh R.I.P. Yep, R.I.P. Hope his family's doing well. Now on a positive note, LeBron James, Mr. Taco Tuesday, oh God. has teamed up with Taco Bell. Wait, just now? It was like two weeks ago, but yeah. Why did it take this long? I couldn't tell you. It should have been years ago. Yeah. However, I will say I tried the taco box. Absolutely delicious. I fucking... We... My family, man. My dad doesn't like LeBron. We always go fucking Taco Tuesday. <laughs> How the fuck just now has Taco Tuesday been a thing for Taco Bell? I, I truly don't get it because this guy's been doing this his whole life. His whole life he's been saying Taco Tuesday. I mean, this literally went viral before 2020. Yeah. I 
been probably saying Taco Tuesday since probably, like, I don't know, 2017, 2018. Yeah. How the fuck is that just happening now? I, I couldn't tell you. 2024. With Taco Bell, the biggest fucking taco fucking franchise that there is. Yeah. It's unreal. Uh, speaking of the bronze, Bronny James got 10 personal team workout invites, but only accepted two of them. Also, his NBA scouting report looks horrible. Uh, to be fair, though, most NBA scouting reports for even superstars are absolutely horrible. Yeah. They mainly write about your flaws, so it does make sense. Clippers and head coach Ty Lue agree on a new long-term deal that will make him one of the league's highest-paid coaches. Pelicans are deferring their 2024 Lakers pick with that was not part of the Anthony Davis trade to 2025, giving the Lakers the 17th pick in the NBA draft, which is speculating it might go to Bronny James. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm telling you, I truly have a strong 80% of me feeling that if the Lakers get 17th pick and Bronny's still on the board, they are probably going to take him. See, my thing is, I don't know if Bronny will still be on the board for pick 17. I agree. Be- my thing is, I want to be surprised because knowing what they're gonna, what the team's going to get because of what LeBron James said, um, when wherever Bronny goes, he goes. Yep. I want to be surprised. I highly doubt it. But I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised if someone, if some team, picked them number one overall. I don't know about number one. The That's why I said only I reason doubt it. I don't know about number one is because there's another seven four player. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. However, here is my theory. It's a wild card, but scary team. Very scary team. If this happens. The Spurs this year have picked number four. Now, if they were smart, they would choose one of the lottery picks, not Bronny James. But then, they also have lottery pick number eight. If I'm the Spurs and Bronny James is available at pick number eight, I'm taking Bronny James. You got Victor Wembanyama, who's the number one pick last year, Bronny James, and LeBron. And he's going to drag over LeBron. Could you imagine that team? They, they be, just need three shooters. That would be so fucking odd to see LeBron in a San Antonio Spurs fucking jersey. I agree. Because of like him and the Heat and shit. Yeah. So. But that could happen. That's my theory of the best odds of Bronny getting picked in the lottery. Yeah, that's... I mean, if I'm just saying, I highly doubt it, but if the fucking Knicks got Bronny, I don't know how I would feel. Because I know what's going to happen. Yep, Julius Randle's going to go. We're going to get LeBron. But I feel like Julius Randle might go anyway. Well, that's true. I have have that feeling, too. I don't know what the Knicks are going to do because this offseason. Because, because you talked to me about the trade rumors that you're, you're thinking of. That you, just, you said Devin Booker. You said fucking... If they get, if they get fucking Giannis... <sighs> Scary hours. That... That would be fucking unbelievable for the Knicks. And then they had to sign him to a fucking big fucking... Co- him and Jalen. Yep. They, wait, did they already sign Jalen to a big co- Not yet. Not yet. I thought you posted something on your, on your Instagram. He is eligible. That is on here. Let me get to it. Uh, okay, too far. Where is it? Oh, it's right under here. Perfect. Nick's Jalen Brunson is making a captain decision potentially and planning on signing a four-year, $156 million extension with the Knicks this summer instead of waiting a year to sign a five-year, $270 million deal so the Knicks have more money to build the team in free agency if they want. Yeah, that is uh, incredible. You, you said he would be the captain, right? Yes, pretty much. Yeah. I think he already is. Do it. Just fucking do yeah. it. Sign it. Sign the fucking check. Yeah, plus, I mean, that that makes the Knicks really exciting. I Trust me, I want him to get his bag. But that's also a bag as is. Say, how much money do you really fucking need? That, and also, wouldn't you want a trophy? Or two? Or three? Maybe four? If we're really pushing. (laughs) Knicks dynasty incoming, and we don't know about it. Clip this. Clip this. (laughs) I said on a live stream before on my other channel. I said it. On a straight on my first stream on YouTube in 2022 playing MLB, I think I said something along the lines of, 
around the trade deadline, get rid of Joey Gallo, um, which they did. They yep. got rid of him. They sent him to the Dodgers. Then, uh, then trade. I swear to God, I said this word for word. Trade for fucking Juan Soto. That's crazy. And then sign Judge to like a five-year, $180 million deal or some shit like that. I said that. That I got completely fucking wrong. Way wrong. But for good reason, though. Because yes. he signed a nine-year, $360 million contract instead of what I said. But although I was off by a year, guess who got traded to the fucking Yankees? Juan Soto. Oh, the goat! I love him. I love him so much. I have to get a, I have to get a fucking jersey of his now because there's no. The Yankees would be fucking stupid. I'm sorry to go off baseball or, or off basketball real quick, but the Yankees would be so fucking stupid to not re-sign him. I agree. Either midway or fucking when free agency hits, they would be fucking stupid not to. I agree. I think he was fucking born to play in pinstripes. The way he's, he seems like the happiest he's ever been. When, when fuck with the Yankees, so was Verdugo too. Yeah, I feel like yeah. they should re-sign him too. I feel to like maybe like a shorter contract, but he's really good for the Yankees. He says that the Yankees have been the best clubhouse he's ever been a part of, and that's crazy from someone who just came over from fucking Boston. Yeah, just shows how much better we fucking are. That's right. No fucking brainer, but what what do I know? <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, no, I I love it. Uh, I'm waiting until we go to the game, and I'm gonna get a Soto jersey there. That is my game plan, because uh, they need all the money they can get to sign Soto. So uh, take it. They had bats on Fanatics too that I was gonna get too, but they were like fucking like thirteen hundred dollars. But they were signed. They were signed that authentic makes bats. Yeah. So, I I mean I was like like that would have been a fucking insane gift to give someone. I don't know if I've ever spent that much money on one fucking thing. Actually, yeah. this setup was actually... All right, I lied. This whole setup is like four grand. Yeah, that sounds right. And that was on right. one thing. So, uh, I, yeah. Multiple yeah. items, though. <laughs> right, so one... Okay, sure. One item, I don't think I've ever spent 1300 on. Yeah. Yeah, no, because none of my guitars that I've bought were over 1300 the, the, the Gibson's three grand, but my parents bought me that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not, yeah. I don't count it. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I like that you mentioned the Yankees, though, because I was going to mention, imagine Knicks, Yankees, Dynasty, same time. Oh, New York's going to be booming. Right, but I don't know about Yankees, Dynasty, because I feel like there's a lot more competition now because a lot of good, there's a lot of fucking teams. I do agree with that. That are so good this year. You and could say the same thing in the NBA, though. Like, I'm talking like, you have the fucking Orioles that can win one. The Gu the Guardians could win. The the fucking Royals could win again, which I can't believe I'm saying that now. Yeah. Um. Who else is fucking really good? The obviously the Dodgers could actually win a fucking real one, but I'd rather yep. have them not. Padres could win uh, one. Yeah. Um, Brewers and Cubs can win one. Uh, who's on the national? And the fucking Phillies could win Phillies, one. Yeah. I'm not saying Braves because their fucking team is in shambles right shambles, now. It's so yeah. bad. But um, thanks Ronald Acuna by the way, because he, he he doesn't give a shit. No one should really give a shit about this. I'm just doing this for the shit for the memes. But you were on my fucking fantasy baseball team and you got fucking torn your you tore your ACL so. He won the pick, the first pick out of the entire draft. Because who did you pick for your first uh, first pick? I picked Aaron Judge. And look at the fucking month that he just had. Yep. Absolute masterclass. Yeah. Fucking. The only reason I don't see a Yankees dynasty is because I tweeted a few years ago that the New York Mets are going to win the 2027 World Series, and I stand by that. Which... In our current time, the Yankees would only win two, which wouldn't make them quite a dynasty yet. Storm. The fucking Chiefs won two in a row. I know. And they're a dynasty. Well, they have three, though. 
Well, yeah, but and also the Astros. Look at them. They you wouldn't do you consider them a dynasty? I think they are. I would say so. Yeah. And I think the dynasty is fucking ended because I sure agree. they sure they only have won two World Series in five years. Yep. But seven years in a row, they went to the ALCS. That's that's what I mean. Yeah. So, yeah. I think I think them winning two would still, god damn it, would still be a dynasty for them. I think them winning two and making it to the championship series would make them a dynasty. But they'd have to make it. But the last few years, they've gone to the ALCS. Besides uh, last year. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're talking about 2017 to 2017 they went to the ALCS, A- 18 was the ALDS. Yep. Because they got stopped by was, the Red Sox. Yeah. yeah. ALCS again, 19 and 20. No, was it 20? Did they go to the ALCS? No, they didn't get to the 20 in, because they got stopped by the fucking Rays out of all teams. Yep. Then 2021 they got stopped in the wild card. 2022 ALCS and 2020 they didn't even make it to the playoffs at all. The only reason. I guess I'm not considering it a dynasty is because I'm not considering that. Yeah. I'm my that my said, face oh, wow, of the yeah. Yankees is Juan Soto onwards. Right, yeah. That's why I'm saying it might not be. With the big fucking three that we have, Stanton, Judge, yeah. and fucking Soto, because between three of those players, that's fifty home runs. Yeah. This year. I don't even know if all the all MLB teams have fucking fifty home runs. Nope. I know there was one point where they had more home runs than four fucking teams. Yeah. That was Tampa Bay, Chicago, White Sox. I think Detroit was one of them. And then I can't remember the last one, but. I don't remember. I don't think it was Colorado, surprisingly. I don't think it's Colorado. Uh, I almost just choked on a fucking carrot. Uh, I don't think it's Colorado, even though that's surprising, even though there's so fucking shit. Yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the other team is, but yeah. They're fucking... It's so good being a Yankees fan. Anyway, continue on it, fucking it is basketball. It's so good. All right, so uh, oh, got a little stat thing for you. Just don't look at the list. You got. It. So uh, player one. Twenty-two point eight points per game. Eight point four rebounds per game. Thirty-eight point forty-eight percent field goal percentage. Okay. Player two. Five point five points per game. Five point seven five rebounds per game. 16.775 from the field percentage. Okay. Which one would you rather take? So, let me ask you this. Is this an older player? Are these two older players or something like that? Or, these uh, two or one of them is? I'd say they're veterans, but they're not older. They're, and like, youthful. They're very youthful. I was going to ask, too. Is this all one guy, but one's a rookie year number and then one's his current number or some shit like that? So you are on the right track. It is the same guy. Yeah. You are not on the same track as in this is the same exact season. So one might have to be in the regular season, one might have to be in playoffs, right? They're both in the playoffs. They're two different series. They're two different series. Okay. I'll break it down to you. This is Nuggets Michael Porter Jr. The amazing stats are him versus LeBron and the Lakers. The horrible stats are him versus the Timberwolves. The next series. I bring this up to just give proof, living proof, that for some reason, whenever players play my guy, LeBron, they turn into the greatest players that's of all why, time. That's why I said it had to be the same player because you wouldn't give me two different fucking players, one being 20 points and then one other being five. Exactly. You wouldn't give me two players like that. You would give me one in different parts of the season. That's yeah. why I was like, that's that's not, yeah. Could you imagine if he played like his normal self for the Lakers series? No. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I would, I would take no. Uh, to answer your question, I would take number one. I agree. I agree. Uh, by the way, all NBA selections have come out officially and everything. LeBron James is the youngest and oldest player to make an All NBA team. Now, his twentieth selection is the most in NBA history. Is he in the second team? Yes. Uh, no, he was in the third team this oh. year. Yeah. A okay. couple of controversial people they put over him. We we got that wrong then. We got we got We did. Uh you know who they put over him? Who? 
Kevin Durant. Did they really? Yeah, he was second team. They put Jason Tatum first team over okay, Jalen Brunson. Okay, sure. uh, what? Yep. Yep. Then it was funny on the Knicks podcast. Didn't they fucking didn't Jalen Brunson have better numbers than fucking Jason Tatum? Yup. On the Knicks podcast, the roommates podcast, Josh Hart was asking Jalen Brunson, "How does it feel? Do you feel like you're better than LeBron? Because he was a team higher than him." Yeah. And what did you say? He uh, proceeded to make a hilarious uh, deep throating sound to Jalen Brunson for meat riding LeBron. And he had pretty much no comments on... He, he never thought about it. I think now he is. Now he is. I'm 50-50 with it because, to me, overall as an entire player, I'm taking LeBron every day of the week. That's why I said now. Because, overall, you're you're right. LeBron's leap, leap bounds over Joe Brunson. But, I mean, this this past season, right now, this season, I think he, Jalen Brunson was better than LeBron. I'm 50-50 with it because of field goal percentages. This was LeBron's most efficient shooting season of his entire career. But that's just one stat, And though. Jalen Brunson is horrible from the field. He just chucks a lot of shots. Oh, yeah, no, he does. I, I, I've watched the playoffs. He chucks a lot. Yeah. So does Dante. Dante fucking chucks 100%. a lot. That's why I'm 50-50 with it. The only other reason, too, besides field goal percentage, is rebounds and defense in general. I'm taking LeBron to defend any person in the league over Jalen Brunson. But would you say Jason Tatum was better than LeBron, though? No. I mean, this season, do you think he was better than LeBron? No. No. No, I, I, I'm not trying to come off like a Jason Tatum hater. You're a Jason Tatum hater. <laughs> but You're a fucking Jason Tatum hater. 100% Jason Tatum has had a phenomenal season. He's a great shooter. He's a great player. He, A, still needs to prove himself to me by winning a championship, which I don't think he's going to do. But on top of that, he just is like a second option most nights. Jalen Brown holds that team down. If you're going to be better than LeBron, you have to be the first option. Right. That's why Jalen Brunson is an argument. Right. Jason Tatum, he should be the first option, but he doesn't act like the first option 50% of the season. Which, yes, to be fair, it's the equivalent of Anthony Davis, LeBron James, depending on the team. Right. But everybody knows that's LeBron's team. There's no question. Right, yeah. Jason Tatum, it's like, oh, we got the duo. It's kind of like Luka Kyrie right now. It's like, oh, it's Luka's team because he's always been a Maverick. But, you know, they respect Kyrie. I saw an interesting topic. It's like, who... It's, I forgot what the podcast was called. It's, like, it's the three it's the three guys. Three uh, basketball guys. You have, like, the light-skinned guy and you have the two black guys. Yep. Um, they were talking about who, like, the team's GOAT is going to be. Um, they said if Luka wins one or more chips with the Mavericks, he's going to be the the new uh, franchise go over dirt. I agree with that. You think, you think we agree with that? My next stat actually on the list proves why I agree with that. Mavericks' Luka Doncic has more NBA first-team selections than Kevin Garnett, Stephen Curry, Dirk Nowitzki. Yep. David Robinson, Dwayne Wade, Moses Malone, Julius Irving, and Charles Barkley, and a bunch of others, obviously. I just named some popular names. He's only 25 years old. I was going to say that because I don't think people really realize how young Luka Donich is. I didn't even realize it until this year. Motherfucker's only 25 years old. And already has more than Dirk. That's insane. Same age as Juan Soto, by the way. Yeah. And the both players are doing fucking amazing for their teams. So. Yep. Absolutely beautiful. Um, do you do you think that once Dirk not not Dirk fucking Luca hits free agency he will be the highest paid NBA player in history? I would imagine. However, it depends on whether he signs some extensions and doesn't fully hit a free agency just yet, and it also depends on if he hits free agency with certain players. An example would be if he happens to be a free agent in the same year where LeBron, for some reason, is still playing. 
LeBron's probably going to make the most money in a one-year contract that year. I'm going to look up when he becomes a free agent. I want to say it's in two years, unless he's signed a max already. He already signed one last in 2022-2023. Guess how much it was. I'm um, guessing it's five years, right? Fuck you. Yeah, it was. And I'm guessing it's $325 million. I'm way off. Okay, so it's 532. Down. It's lower. It's lower than 300, even. Yes. Oh right, it's a rookie max. Okay, this is probably 265. He's being paid that. Li nah, that's that's outrageous. It is probably. I'm gonna guess 160 then. Okay, 180. 190. 210. 211. Uh, 215. There you go. Wow. That is surprising. He has a player option for the final year in 2026-2027. Yeah, so let's keep that in mind. You know who else becomes a free agent around that time if they don't sign an extension with their team? I'm going to look it up. Who becomes a free oh, agent? Oh, I can tell you. And if you say fucking LeBron, so help me God. It's not LeBron. I don't know if you guessed this player. I don't know if he's even on your mind. It's not Giannis, is it? Nope. It's not Jalen. Nope. It's Victor, isn't it's it? It's Victor Wembanyama. <laughs> oh, That's me. why I don't know. It's gonna be, maybe they both might be the highest. They might tie exactly. Yeah, because Victor, that I mean, you want to talk about a fucking player? I, like I said, I tried to buy him the fucking Victor Wembanyama shoes, and they sold out fucking immediately. I had to go on Goat to try again, and then they fucked up the goddamn fucking order, so then I had to fucking refund that shit. Yep. So, yeah. And I told him, too, if if you get him and you don't like him, I wouldn't be mad if you sold him because that's money for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was like, it was like, fucking hell. But, nah, they're cool, though. They're cool. But fucking, yeah, Victor is like, how much is he being paid now? I want to say four-year rookie deal probably because he's the number one overall pick, $90 million. Lower? 80? It's even lower? Phew. Uh, 70. 60. Lower? Are you doing per year? No. Because I could have sworn you. Oh, wow. Uh, 45. Up. 60. 58. 56, 55. There you go. Four year, $55 million. Wow. Yeah. I hope he doesn't get injured because if I was him, and this is a stupid financial decision because an extension's guaranteed money. <laughs> However, I would try to become a free agent and not sign an extension with the Spurs. Absolutely. Because he's going to be paid so much more money. Absolutely. Fucking lootly. Especially compared to a rookie extension. However, he does need to, you know, not get injured if he doesn't take an extension. Right, yeah. Uh, anyway, speaking of big men, Lakers' Anthony Davis is the only player this season to make both All-NBA and All-NBA defensive teams. Yep. Uh, Celtics' Jason Tatum. Shot, I'm not being a hater anymore. He has more playoff points in his first seven seasons than Michael Jordan did. Michael Jordan had 2,425. Oh, you're a Michael Jordan hater. And Larry Bird, 2,520. Tatum currently has 2,538 and counting. We will see what happens in this finals. Uh, the 2024-2025 NBA season is the last season for Ernie, Kenny, Chuck, and yep. Shaq's show That's on sad. TNT. That's so sad. However, uh, they are talking about potentially keeping the show alive. Charles Barkley actually owns an entire like broadcasting company. So he's even told them maybe they could do some type of show on his. So that would be interesting. Let's go. Uh, Ernie still has said he's going to stay with TNT, though, after no matter what sport they cover. Which makes sense. He's been there forever. Yeah. Uh, Draymond Green. 
on Shaq's podcast, he said that any of his Warriors Prime teams could beat the Lakers 2000s Prime teams with Shaq. He said it to Shaq's face because Shaq asked him. He said Clay Thompson would guard Kobe Bryant. Who the fuck would guard Shaq? He said him and Zaza Pachulia would guard Shaq and not allow them to give him the ball. Okay. My opinions on that is I don't think either team wins that. I think it's probably tied between both of them. I feel like it usually would go to Game 7 in that scenario. Yes. Because, However, yeah. I'm also 50-50 like you because my thing is the Warriors could totally outshoot. They're the fucking right. Because you have. But also Shaq could go for 60 every single because night. Because you, you said it was a prime Golden State, right? Yeah. So it, you're talking about a prime Steph Curry. Yeah. Who fucking can shoot behind his head fucking three-point. Yep. Make it drain it almost every time. Keep in mind, Clay Thompson can shoot just as well, if not better. He has the rec- He has the record for like the most consecutive threes, right? Yep. Like Fifteen or sixteen or some shit like that. Yep. So, yeah, and and prime Draymond. He's pretty nice, especially defensively. And, 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 and I assume they're including Kevin Durant. I w- I would guess so. They didn't mention him just for podcast. Yeah, because I say what 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 error are they talking about? Are they talking 2015, 2016, or are they talking about twenty seventeen onwards? Like, they basically. It was like a gist conversation. They said, any of my prime Lakers teams and any of your prime Warriors teams. So that's why it's like a whole... Okay, so it has to be. It has yeah. to be, yeah. I would imagine Kevin Durant, yeah. Because you won two chips with Kevin Durant. The only reason I wouldn't is because they did go 73-9 and nine without him. That's why I asked. Yeah. So uh, regardless, I am going to take the Lakers. Because I truly believe Shaq would drop 60-plus a night. Because none of those centers are guarding Shaq. It, it's just impossible. So that's why I asked who's guarding Shaq. Because who the fuck is their center at this time? Yeah. And the thing is, this isn't lazy Shaq. This is Shaq is on the grind. He won his MVP. He wants chips. Right, yeah. So, like, yeah, 60 a night, no problem. Right. And also, I'm sorry, Prime Clay Thompson is not stopping Kobe Bryant. It, Absolutely not. Especially baby number eight. Co- Absolutely not. Yeah, but he could get a few on the, stops. On, but on the no. flip side, no one's stopping Steph Curry. I agree. I agree. No one's stopping prime Steph Curry. I agree. But this is where it gets interesting too. The Lakers also have a lot of role players, kind of like the Warriors did, right. that can make shots. So that Kobe and Shaq don't have to. Robert Ory's game winner. Derek Fisher's a sniper. You got Rick Fox. Right. I believe they had Lamar Odom on one of those teams. It might have been the later 2010s teams, but yep. I don't remember. And then the I mean, Warriors had stacked. fucking... Sean Livingston. Yep. Uh, Iguodala. Iguodala, yep. That, yep. I can't Iguodala. believe I fucking remember who Iguodala is. <laughs> and he said Livingston, right? L- yep, Livingston. Livingston, yep. Livingston, yep. I, rem- I literally purely remember those names from 2K17. That's literally how I fucking <laughs> remember them, I swear to God. They could have still had JaVale McGee, which is a center, depending on. Yep. So that's at least a backup, but again, he's not guarding Shaq. Right, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, interesting series. I thought it was interesting that uh, Draymond, you know, had that confidence to tell Shaq right. to his face. Um, Bulls DeMar DeRozan won the State Farm Assist of the Year. He had a 360 no-look pass on a drive to the basket to Kobe White for a three against the Bucks this season. It was really an impressive uh, three uh, assist. He literally went like this and then went like this to go do a layup, and then he literally just chucks it. Th- I mean, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, unreal pass. Um, anyways, basketball is done. Unless you have anything else. I don't have anything else besides go fucking Mavericks. Let's go. go fucking Mavericks. Let's go Mavs. Please don't let Boston. I want a Luca fifty bomb. He's gonna get a fucking fifty bomb. There's no way. I hope he does. Um, so football? Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are less than 100 days away from the 2024-2025 NFL season. Yep. I am so excited. So, uh... I'm excited, too. I'm really excited. Yeah, honestly. I mean, all sports... I mean, the, the team that's down there, the moves that they made... I want to say, fuck Derrick Henry for, for that... He, that he, he, you know, he will probably go down as 
the franchise's goat when it comes to when his career's said and done. I agree. His his number is gonna be fucking retired. I, yeah, a hundred percent. There's no way that he's not. He's done so much for the Titans organization. God bless him. Hope he does good in Baltimore. But the team that we have now, like, fucking hell. You guys would have to choke to not make the playoffs. Right. We stole one of the Jaguars' key pieces. Fucking Calvin Ridley. We stole him. We had Traylon Burks fucking, um, fucking DeAndre Hopkins. (laughs) There was another fucking wide receiver we signed, too. I think that was during the draft, though. I think we signed him. Yeah, I believe so. And then we got um, uh, Tony Pollard. I completely forgot that we just signed him until now. Yep. We got J.C. fucking Latham, who was a surprise fucking number one pick in, or, or round one pick. I didn't expect, but that dude's a fucking beast. Yep. I've seen the training shit. He's a fucking beast. Um, Will Levis, or Levi, whatever, however you pronounce his fucking last name. I love that edit that you sent me, by the way, on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Honest, yeah. <laughs> I saw that ad, too. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about him is that he puts fucking mayo in his coffee. Yeah, that is weird. But he, he actually has um, whatever the fucking company is called that that, that has all the mayo shit. They, they uh, Hellman's? It might be Hellman's, yeah. They give him, they like, they sponsor him. They give him like, yeah. a life supply of fucking mayo to put in his coffee, which is absolutely fucking vile. Crazy. Fucking vile. But Unreal. besides that... No more fucking Ryan Tannehill. The curse is over. <laughs> fucking curse is over. I've just realized that now, just saying that. Like, it's, he's done. He's gone. Fuck that guy. I am happy for you. I'm happy for you beyond belief. Fucking, I, I mean, fuck that guy. I, I've said it for probably half a decade now. The that he's problem. the problem. The, yeah. Yeah. And Will Levis is... Oh I am excited for you to be excited to watch games every week. I know. It's going to be so great. Maybe we can start the season with a dub for once. I'm calling it. Uh, actually, I don't know who you guys versus week one. <laughs> oh, well, I thought it was going to uh, Well, I thought we were going to win the last year when it was the fucking Saints. But, you know, fucking Ryan Tannehill does Ryan Tannehill things. Yep. So, um, Tennessee Titans schedule. And I'm pissed off, too, because we were talking about going to see Titans and Bills. But... I'll be on a fucking cruise when that game happens. I'll be in the middle of the fucking ocean while he's going to be in fucking here or he's actually going to go to that game. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, You got, or we have, oh, fuck. Maybe not. Is it the Chiefs? It's not the Chiefs, no. But Is it the Ravens? Nope. Oh, I thought they masterclassed you guys there. I'll, I'll let you guess what team this is. It's not the Jets. That's okay. the second week. Oh, I knew it was up there. Uh, is it the Jags, maybe? You're not scared of the Jags, right? No, no. I didn't think so. Who else is elite? I know it's not the Bills. Um, 49ers. It's a that's, good our shout. First, that's our first preseason game. Oh. I'll give you a oh, hint. Oh, is it the Texans? No. Okay. I'll give you a hint. Draft. Draft, that. It's definitely not the Falcons. No. That would be, yeah. Draft. I'm stumped. It's not the Eagles, no way. No, 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 no. Draft. It's not like the Bears? You're scared of the Bears? Well, I don't know how Calvin Harris or whatever the fuck his name. Is it Cal? Caleb Williams, I thought. I said Calvin Harris. <laughs> That's the DJ. Calvin Harris is a fucking DJ or dubstep the guy. Bears? Yeah. Nah, guaranteed Titans dub. Guaranteed. We'll have to see. It's guaranteed. Uh, ah. <laughs> speaking of... Mets are up somehow. Anyway, speaking of NFL, the Bills traded away a first-round wide receiver to the Chiefs. And now have picked up two-time Chiefs Super Bowl winning wide receiver Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Yeah. Wait, who's picked him up? The Bills. Oh, boy. Yeah, we literally traded away a first-round wide receiver for him. So, uh, interesting stuff. Uh, Bills offensive coordinator Joe Brady. He affirms that this is Josh Allen's offense amid wide receiver flux. And I just wanted to say that to say no kidding. I think it was pretty obvious when you got rid of Stefan Diggs whose team it was. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know it wasn't Von Miller's team. 
<laughs> no. Uh, Bills, this signing actually has me really excited for the Bills because I am going into the Bills fandom season this year as just happy to have Josh Allen and to, you know, be able to see and play football. Not going in with any aspirations besides we're probably going to be a playoff team. No further aspirations than that, though. But the Bills signed 2020 Olympic gold medal wrestler, two-time college champion, Gable Stevenson, despite no football experience. He's expected to play on the defensive line. He is 6'1", 275 pounds. He was recently cut from the WWE. This is a WWE? Yeah. He never made it to, like, the big screen, but... Huh. He's a big boy. Oh, no, I've, I've seen pictures he, of the guy. I am very excited to see him on this Bills team. We'll see how he does, because you said he has no football experience, so... Yeah. Um... NFL tight end Darren Waller dropped a diss track on his ex-wife WNBA Kelsey Plum after they finally finished their divorce. <laughs> you know what's so funny about this? How many fantasy football team losers do you think next year are going to have to reenact this entire video? <laughs> it was so bad. Oh, I said, when I first saw it, I, I was like, no fucking way he did it. I can't believe he did that. And then that. he did. And I was like, oh my god. I am uh, nervous. Uh, so, so, so help me God, for some reason it reminded me of the fucking, there's something about you, girl. I think my on the twirl. I, I, exactly what it reminded me like, of. I was like, I'm like, dude, you, you fucking suck. Like, you stop. Please. Unreal. Fucking stop. Uh, I am... Nervous and also excited for this week. Falcons and Eagles tampering rulings will be announced this week. For you guys that don't know, they've been investigating tampering throughout the uh, free, agency. free agency for Kirk Cousins getting a contract with the Falcons and Saquon Barkley signing with the Eagles. Nervous because, yeah, I don't know what the consequence is if well, the Eagles what did tamper. But I'm also excited because no matter what, we at least know and we get the news and it's over. Right. Last football thing happened earlier today. Ray. Vikings wide receiver Justin Jefferson. He agreed to a contract extension that makes him the highest paid non-quarterback in NFL history. Four years. I, I, my jaw dropped when I saw how much. Four years, $140 million. Yeah. That's roughly $35 million a year. And $110 million, that is guaranteed. Yep. I'm still scared for his career with the Vikings without Kirk Cousins. Not that he's a bad player, but you need a I'm quarterback to throw you the ball. I'm fucking scared because I'm afraid he's going to be like um, like another fucking like Patrick Ewing or um, what other players are there. What other gr- there is a perfect NFL example. Who is that? Randy Moss. Yep, that's who I was thinking of. Yep, who is who has amazing stats, but never has the fucking trophies to really consider them like goats or Hall of Fame. Randy Moss is a Hall of Famer, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. He even played with Tom Brady. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Never won a chip with him though. Nope. Which that's crazy to crazy. say. Crazy. Yeah. Because he has fucking seven, seven fucking chips. But. Uh, so now, our favorite part. The Yankees. I don't even call it baseball anymore. It's just the Yankees. <laughs> that That's... That's, that's just, basically it. Yeah. That's basically it. That's all we got to talk about. Or the Phillies, too, because well, they're... Well, there's more on the list, but, you know. Yankees. 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 Yeah, the sport is officially called Yankees again. It's about time. So, it's still funny, because last year, we were on the ropes. And along the, at this time of year, too. We were on the yeah. fucking ropes. Because we were like, oh, my God. We might not make the playoffs, and then we didn't. Um, this year, um, what the fuck is going on? In a good way. What the fuck? What kind of fucking drugs are they taking? Because there's no way that they should be doing this good. Like this is like this is historic. This is more historic than like 2022. Yeah, hundred percent. I didn't even, I didn't even think it could even get better than 2022, but yet here we are. Yeah, um, yeah, very exciting. I, I, like I said, Juan Soto is just the, the guy. There is not one 
actually, no, there is one bad thing on the team, but he doesn't. But the thing is, he doesn't hurt the team. Glaber has been doing so shit lately, but he's not hurting the team. I agree. When he's doing shit, the team's still fucking winning. Yeah. Still winning. When you said there was one bad guy on the team. What do you think it was? You know who I thought it was. No, I don't. Carlos Rodon. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were doing that. Thing. Yeah, guys, by the way, we're fighting. We're fighting, guys. We're That's fighting. Right. We're fighting. Um, we, we, we actually fucking hate each other. Um, go like and subscribe to watch the, the WTWE coming up soon. We're going to fight. All right. That's right. So, um, anyway. Um, yeah. Rodon's doing great. You can admit it. He's doing good. He's doing great. Mm. He's doing great. He's got two losses. That That is a strong... How's Nestor doing? How's fucking Nestor doing? Well, Nestor is going through traumatic stuff right now. Shut the fuck up. I couldn't tell you what it is. I just have, like, this insider Shut. that has told me that Nestor Cortez is going through some very... What about Garrett Cole, huh? Stuff. What about Garrett Cole? Well, he's injured. Right now. He's doing phenomenal. <laughs> Don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. I was Garrett. F- fuck he you. He is doing phenomenal. <laughs> fuck you. Um, he's got forty wins this what year. What about Clark Schmidt? What about Clark Schmidt? Uh, he is also injured. That's on here. Clark <laughs> what Schmidt about got what about the number? What's your what's the number seventy seven or whatever the fuck he was? Cody oh, Petit. Oh, yep. Uh, he is doing phenomenal. <laughs> but yeah, yes, because he has two stars yes. and he's one. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. What? 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 what the other Marcus Stroman, what about him? He is doing about the same as Rodon. Good. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll give you that, but they're do- both doing great in my eyes. Um, and then the best <laughs> pitcher, the best fucking pitcher that we have. I don't. It, which can we just talk about that for a second? For a record, like you said, we don't even have our ace, nope. and we have the best fucking record in baseball right now. Lowest team ERA, lowest fucking runs given up, lowest hits, lo- all that shit. How? How like, is that possible? Like I said, it's no longer baseball, it's Yankees. Well, I'll tell you how it's possible. Luis fucking Hill. That fucking guy... I might have to get his jersey because we have him until 2029. Did you know that? I did not know that. We traded for him from the, tw- from the Twins a couple of years ago. Um... Lol, by the way, fucking twins. <laughs> um, fucking, they keep taking L's from the Yankees, and this is just another one. Yeah. And he wasn't even supposed to be in the main roster this year. But yeah. Garrett Cole is hurt, that's why he is. And my fucking God, he's doing so fucking good. 9-1 nine nine one record. Yep. ERA under one, uh, 2, I believe. Um, yeah, biggest fu- Big FIP. Big, good whip, good FIP. I mean, he's fucking. I'm pretty sure he, at one point, him and Mason Miller, the guy from the Oakland, uh, they had a negative FIP, which means yeah. they owed the pitchers runs, which I don't even know how that's possible. I agree that, but Phew. that's just how that works. But Luis Hill is so fucking good. He's he's the kind of guy when I when I see him go up on the mound, I'm like, yeah, he's gonna do good. He's gonna be fine. Hundred percent. Um, but yeah, he's. Incredible, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Yankees got DJ LeMahieu back. Clark Schmidt's injured. Uh, Yankees Aaron Judge tied Jorge Posada. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Eighth most home runs in Yankees history, two hundred and seventy-five. Can't believe it. Storm, since you have him on fan on your fa- uh, fantasy team, why don't you tell him about what? judge has done this month oh the 25 or more extra base hits in may the 14 home runs in may you, know who, you, you want to know what the closest other person was was for, it not for, babe for uh for um home runs this this uh this last month bryce fucking harper yeah i thought he had 11 right seven 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 Shoo. Half of what Judge had f- for May. Wow. And Judge currently leads the home in home runs in all of Major League Baseball right now. That's right. We could see 
Him hit 62 again. I think it's possible. I think it's very possible. I'm actually scared that he does it again. If The only reason why he wouldn't be able to do it in my eyes is because of the shitty April that he had. No, I still think it's very possible. Yeah, but I'm saying if he doesn't get it, that's the reason. Because of April. I would say more so the pitchers being, you know. The pussies, yeah. Yeah. Because they're just, because, well, beforehand they were pitching to him like, oh, he can't hit against us. Now this month he's like, oh, shit, he's hitting against us. Yeah. But, uh. But I think that the. The reason I'm scared if he breaks it is because I don't know if that means, you know, typical. Let's not re-sign our most valuable players. Uh, we have Judge. We don't need Soto. I, I don't need the front office ever having that thought. Well, this kind of this season should prove that you you need all these you guys. Need all, exactly. And it, what's so nice now is that Judge is hitting these milestones and shit. But it's not doesn't. But it doesn't seem like he's the one carrying the team. Everyone's doing their fucking job, doing yes. their part, doing what they gotta do. Besides Glaber, um. Fucking Lemayu's hitting. I can't believe I'm saying that. We he's like 30 fucking eight, or whatever the hell he, how old he is now. Fucking Verdugo's hitting. Volpe's hitting, and people were pissed that he put him in a leadoff spot. He wasn't doing good at first. Yeah. But now he's fucked. He had he had a 21 game hitting streak. He beat Derek Jeter for longest g- uh, game. Uh, what? What? Jesus Christ! I just had a brain fart. <laughs> um, for in the list for longest game streets for Yan- game hitting streets for Yankees. The next person that was gonna that he was gonna be if he got more was Robinson Cano with twenty three. I'm just saying. Did the streak end? Yeah, it did. <sighs> it ended like a couple, few days ago. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I just wanna. What 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 was? I wanna look up what Joe DiMaggio's fucking hitting streak was. I thought it was fifty six. Joe, can I connect to my fucking internet? Thank you. Yo, hitting streak, 56. I'm just saying, imagine Volpe. Anthony fucking Volpe, out of all people. I honestly thought he was going to reach 40. That would have been fucking insane. Yeah. He still could. There's another 40-plus games. Not only that, but he's only 23? Yeah. So, he still has a whole career of when he can do that. So, that's even better. Um, yeah, I I know for a fact 100 percent that he's gonna remain a Yankee for life. There's no fucking way that he's not. Yeah, I mean the Yankees would have to go through another massive drought for like five, six. But no, but the, years. but the guy just wants to play for the Yankees, and that's it. Oh, I know. I'm just saying he'd have to be he, one of the main reasons for that drought. He he'd probably he would probably take the lowest money they would offer him, and he'd be like, yeah, he's the Brett Gardner. Right, and he's also the Derek Jeter, the new Derek Jeter. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just saying contract wise. Oh yeah. Um, but like, fucking, it's so good to be a Yankee fan now. It's oh. so, we don't even have 20 losses, dude. We no, don't even have no. 20 losses. Yankees are the fourth team in MLB history with 40 wins before June. The fourth team ever. Yeah. The sport's over 100 years old. There's actually two teams now. And they're from this year. Yeah. That got into 40 wins before June. That's the 2024 Yankees and the 2024 Phillies. Phillies, yep. I'm thinking that there's going to be a Phillies fucking Yankees rematch in the that World Series. That would be insane. I don't think I don't think it will go to a game 6. I think it will go to a game 7 to decide. This Phillies team is way better than the 2009 Phillies team that I we know, had. but our pitchers are way better than the rest of the league. No, but Phillies pitchers, they're almost equally as good. Oh, I know. You have Zach Wheeler fucking who's the who's um who the fuck is really dealing for them? I think it's it's not Ranger Suarez. Is it? I I don't know. Who the fuck? Phillies rotation. Who the fuck is in there? So you had... No. Oh, yeah, it is Ranger Suarez. Okay. So, yeah. You have Ranger Suarez, Aaron Nola, Zach Wheeler, Tyon Walker. They're all doing really fucking good. Yeah. Like, really, 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 really good. The only other fucking rotation that's better than them? It's us. Hello? That's it. Yeah. I don't even think the Dodgers rotation is as good. No, no, no. Yama, Yama, absolutely no, no. Thank thank you that we did not sign him. Oh, I, now you're being, oh. now you're being St- Steven 1-7. to seven. 
<laughs> so just like that. See, I'm I'm him. F- fuck. Off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? I'll look it up. I guarantee it's a. Oh no! Whoa! Very surprising. I was gonna say it's a Pete Alonzo. Oh, God damn it! It's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. For fuck's sake! I'm losing the Dylan o- is o to five right now. Yikes! It is day one though. It, it is, is day, day one. one. Yeah, so. Plus, there's not a lot of games today. I was shocked. Yeah, almost by my that. yeah, all all but one of my pitchers has no games today. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and the other one's my fucking reliever. It's that it, it's it's the fucking um, it's the um, uh the uh Duvall Duvall from, yep. from the Giants who we just smoked yesterday, so it didn't help my fucking fantasy <laughs> team at all. But whatever. Um, but yeah, dude, fucking. Another massive uh, MLB news. The Negro League stats are included in MLB stats now. Here we go. Here we fucking go. All right. I have to be really careful with what I say now. So, the MLB and the Negro Leagues were two completely separate things. Yep. They were like It wasn't like MLB owned the Negro Leagues. No. That would... Number one, that would be fucked up. That would be really fucked up. Especially around that era. Yeah. Number two, there's just, just no. Just absolutely not. So, I don't... I mean, cool, whatever. Josh Gibson now fucking leads almost every batting average or batting title now. Besides home runs. I don't know. I just think it's just weird because we're so used to whatever we had. For the last 100 years. And then now you're going to all of a sudden just switch it up like that. Yeah. Again, like we were talking about the other day. I also just don't like it. Because that's the equivalent of all these foreign players getting all of their stats from when they were in foreign leagues as well. Right. Like, and I said, it's like putting WNBA stats into NBA, NBA yeah. stats. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. When there's two completely different leagues. Yeah. I understand that you're trying to celebrate the history of the Negro Leagues. But like. Like I said, two completely different fucking things. Yeah, and I, I mean, I get it. We're not trying to, you know, be, you know, those people. We're more so just, like, league, league. They had different rules, most likely. Right. Maybe they even had different sized fields, bats, balls. Probably not balls, but... I mean. <laughs> different sized balls. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, but, yeah, it's just, it's just odd. Yeah. And none of us are saying don't, you know, celebrate the Negro Leagues. We're just, you know, they're not MLB stats. Right, exactly. And plus they played... It's unfortunate why they're not. And plus they're... They played less games than yeah. what these current players have. Like, like now Babe Ruth is second in batting average. Even though he's played, what, like a thousand, thousand more plus, plus games. Yeah. Josh Gibbs has played like 600, which is still a lot. Yeah. But that's like six seasons. Yeah. So... Like, yeah, it's a, it's a massive difference. Right. Like, I don't even mind if they incorporate the stats, but then also incorporate the way games. You, you know how you can fucking fix this? I said this to my dad. He didn't agree with me, but I think that they should do this. If you're going to incorporate the fuck, If you're going to celebrate the Negro Leagues and put them in the fucking MLB, then Barry Bonds has to be in the Hall of Fame. I agree. He has to be in the Hall of Fame. Him, I agree. Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, A. Rod, they all have them, yeah. all of them have to be in the Hall of Fame. That's how you. That's how you fix all this. I, I completely agree. Because how the fu- I don't give a fuck about the Roids. I don't care because Roids actually helped save the game of baseball. Because I agree. Because the year before that, all that shit, MLB players were going on strike. You yep. quizzed me on that. You yep. fucking told me. You were trying to tell, trick me with the World Series thing in our second episode of this of this podcast. When I said nineteen ninety, when you said nineteen ninety four, you kind of gave me a look, and I'm like, wait, it's the fucking strike. So there was no World Series. Then all these players started taking roids. The home run chase between Sosa, McGuire, and Bonds that helped save the game of baseball because home runs puts asses in seats. So if yep. you're gonna celebrate the Negro Leagues, you better celebrate the the fucking all that shit. The steroids help save the game of baseball. I don't care what anyone says. Don't give a fuck about roids. I don't care. I agree. That that's why I love baseball today. I realistically was not a big baseball fan for ever since, you know, the Yankees stopped winning. 
because the rest of the league was good, but it wasn't like a very competitive, you know, stretch. It was Astros, 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 Astros. Now, I could see any team in the league winning for the most part. Right. I mean, every team is stacked in different ways. And that's without PEDs either. That's yeah. But allegedly, because we don't know. We don't know if there's probably true. people cheating or not. I don't know. But I mean, I even give the Braves a decent chance still. Yeah. Like, it, all they got to do is stop having some slumps. and The viewership boom. is up. And the, the biggest it's been since probably, I think it was 2011 or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. The vi- it, it, it's, it, it's enjoyable. It's, enjoy- it's, it's always been my favorite sport, even before the new rules have been implemented. And the, with the new rules in now, it's beyond fucking football, basketball. Basketball purely because this is the first year I started actually paying attention to basketball. He's proud of me for that, too. He's, yeah. been wait- he's been waiting. He's been fucking waiting for years for me to get into that shit. Now I'm finally into it. I'm glad you're in it at the perfect time. And, and I'm glad that you're in the baseball at the fucking perfect, perfect time. Perfect time, now. yeah. Um, yeah but like you said, 2011. Last Yankees championship of 2009. You could see what I'm saying. You know what's so funny? It just wasn't entertaining. My, I remember um, when my, actually my first YouTube channel was made, my own YouTube channel, July 9th, 2011. The reason why I know that was because that was the day that Derek Jeter got his 3,000th hit. Yep. It was a home run. I saw it live. That's, well, not at the stadium, but watched live watched, on TV. Yeah. That's how I remember that day so, so like, like that. Even without looking at, because, you know, YouTube shows you what day your fucking channel was made and shit like that. Um, I think this channel was probably, you probably made this shit in, like, 2020 or some shit uh, like that. I thought it was 2019. I think it was December 2019. Maybe. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have to look. But, um. Yeah, I mean, it's so great. Drugs help save the game of baseball. That's just yeah, it. So yeah. if you want to include the Negro re- Leagues, that's fine. But put fucking Barry Bonds into the Hall of Fame because you can't tell me that someone who hit, what was it, 756 home runs or some shit like that, you can't tell me that that guy should not be in the Hall of Fame. He has to be. Yeah. Sure, I, I understand that he didn't hit the 3,000 hit milestone leader, but that's because he got walked 2,500 times. Literally. The most walks out of any other Ever. player. Yeah. Because no, because like Aaron Judge now, people refuse to fucking pitch to him. Yep. Because knew because as soon as they fucking throw it down the middle, yep, bye. Yep. Same with Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire and A-Rod. And Manny Ramirez, too. Yeah. He took yeah. PEDs, and he was a great player, too. He was fun. Yeah. He was a Red Sox, for fuck's sake, and I'm saying that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I know by the time I'm done this, my parents are going to be like, yo, you're, you're fucking yelling a lot in there. But I'm just very passionate about what, <laughs> what, what this is. I mean, that's how you fix it. That's yeah. how you simply just fix the problem. Put Negro Leagues in there, fine. Barry Bonds has to go in the Hall of Fame. Or at least be on the fucking ballot for crying out loud. Yeah. You could even argue with basketball. There's a little conspiracy. They recently have not cared about marijuana anymore. Right. You could argue that another drug is making the NBA... Incredible to watch. All over. Right. I'm not saying it is. Football, too. But, yeah, football, too, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, Good players and good performances put asses in seats. And if drugs fucking do that shit, fucking whatever. I don't care. Fucking. Yeah, I, I don't care as long as they're being good human beings. And what I mean by that is there's certain types of if actions they take with drugs. outside of right. Exactly. Like Henry Ruggs, for example, could have had an incredible career. But then he had to fucking drink and drive and kill someone. Exactly. That is when it should be a big Who knows? Maybe Aaron Hernandez could have had a great career. But we all know what he did. Yep. Murdered two people. Yep. So, I mean... Yeah. (laughs) Hell, Robinson Cano should be in the fucking Hall of Fame. I don't... I've been saying that for years. Don't fucking care. Cano was so good. Yeah. Arguably one of the best second ba- second. He was a second baseman, right? I think so, yeah. Arguably one of the best second baseman of all time. Yeah. 400-something home runs or some shit like that. Yeah. I mean, come on. My favorite player in uh, MLB The Show 13. I See, I, I, raked. See, see, I didn't play MLB The Show until 2017. So, And that was only... I only played Diamond Dynasty... And started and started playing that in 2021, so I don't really know much about all that stuff back then. 
but I, I'm going to take your word for it. Yeah. Oh, dude, he was the best. I'm pretty, and that's yeah. on a team with Jeter and everything else. Still, like, I dude was cranking home runs in that game left and right. And what, what I'm saying, A Rod, right? Yep. Took PEDs. Yep. He's on the fucking ballot. Yep. Sure, he doesn't get picked to be in the Hall of Fame yet, but he's on the ballot. Yep. Fucking just for the love of God, just put those three other fucking guys in there. And I think the way they should do it, too, is still keep the same amount of ballot selections and then just honorably add them in as well. That way, other guys still get in as well. Right. If that makes sense. It just makes no fucking sense. Yeah. Like I said, fix, in conclusion, if you want to fucking do that, put Barry, Bonds, put Barry Bonds in the Hall of Fame. That's it. Yeah, that's I can I, agree with that. that that's all, yeah. Um, so now, uh, yep, we've talked about it. The Mets team is in shambles. The Mets team are in fucking shambles. Pete Alonso injury scare. They have nine losses when leading after the seventh inning, which is the MLB leader. They lead by over five games lost after leading in the seventh compared to the next team, which I believe is the Detroit Tigers. Yeah. Edwin Diaz is injured after a horrible closing start to the season. Yep. Jorge Lopez <laughs> threw his glove into the crowd in frustration, says team is the worst in MLB. Then gets DFA. And then, yep, exactly. But he has a lot more shit to worry about now because his kid's trying to get, like, a stem cell or some shit transplant for yeah. cancer or something like that, so. Um, Cardinals ended the Orioles streak of 106 series without being swept, yep. which is the longest streak in the MLB since the St. Louis Cardinals, funny enough. Yep. Uh, they had 125 in 1942 through 44. Yep. Last time Baltimore was swept was May 13th through 15th, when, 2022. Right before Adley Rutschman came. In six the days before his debut. Yep. Uh, Reds, uh, Ellie De La Cruz has more stolen bases than 15 MLB teams this season. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Uh, we said Ronald Acuna Jr. is out for the season with a torn ACL. Yep. Athletics pitcher Mason Miller is the first player with a scoreless 15-game span with more than 35 strikeouts and fewer than five walks why since fuck, 1901. How, why, why the fuck is Oakland doing so good right now? I don't know. I really don't know. Why? Well, why? Why and how? And uh, today and my final baseball news, Padres infielder Tacupita Marcano Gambling. is facing a potential lifetime ban for betting on baseball. Yep. Yeah. They're really cracking down on that shit now since the whole Shohei bullshit. Yeah, I can't blame them. Yeah. You want to keep the game respectable and, you know, but the funny, game. But it's you, you can bet on other, on, on other fucking sports. Yeah. But you can't bet on your own. Yeah. Which. I also feel like they should maybe change the rules just a little bit. <laughs> My dad just says me, you don't need to pound that to make every point. Yes, the fuck I do. Because to get my point across, that's how. <laughs> I have to be very passionate about it, so. Don't like it. I, I don't give a damn. Yeah. Um. Um. So I've got NASCAR now. NASCAR's all-star race happened. Uh, Ty Gibbs won the open race. And then the actual all-star race, Joey Logano won. A fight broke out in the pits following all-star race between yeah, Kyle yeah. Busch and Ricky Steinhaus Jr. In the first laps, Ricky was pushing Kyle, and then Kyle spun him into the wall and took him out of the entire race. So he basically sat there and did nothing <laughs> for the entire day. Uh, so after the race, uh, Ricky punched Kyle. NASCAR Charlotte Coca-Cola 600 ended at 151 laps short due to a wet track from weather conditions. Christopher Bell won the uh, second win of the season for him. Toyota is catching up to Chevy now. Chevy has seven wins. Toyota has six. Ford has one. And then yesterday at NASCAR's Worldwide Technology Race, oh, no. it ended with Austin Sindrick winning after passing Ryan Blaney on the final lap because Ryan Blaney's car just slowed down in general. <laughs> this is Team Penske's first win this season. Chevy has seven wins. There you go. Toyota has six wins. Ford and Ford won. got its second win. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yesterday, yep. Very exciting. 
They, I don't think they're going to get a win next weekend, but we'll see. Fucking <laughs> 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 uh, WWE. Oh, fuck. King of the Ring winner was Gunther in a controversial win over Randy Orton because yeah, his shoulder was not on the ring when he was pinned. Yeah, who saw that coming? Yeah. Um, WWE Queen of the Ring was Nia Jax, who saw that coming again. Yep. Oh, the juiciness. WWE Liv Morgan beat <laughs> Becky Lynch for the Women's Championship with Dominic Mysterio trying to help Becky retain. She then won a steel cage defense, and that was because Dominic trying to help Becky win it back. Liv Morgan then kissed Dominic Mysterio well, after I guess, the match. I guess I guess, I guess Rhea Ripley is single now. <laughs> hey, Rhea. D- call me, please. Yep. Desperate. Uh, you could also hit me up. I'll, I'll wingman. No, no, no. Uh, uh, I'm a wingman. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not taking her. I was I'm gonna, wingman for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Putting in the good word. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say. I was about to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are boys. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. We're about to fight right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Liv Morgan's revenge tour is really taking everything from Rhea Ripley right now. I'm very excited for it. Speaking of Becky Lynch, she's also a free agent, which is interesting enough. Uh, rumor is she's going to be with AEW. I could see it because the Liv Morgan revenge tour kind of has to happen. It's what everybody You're wants. Saying, wait, wait, who is going to AEW? Becky like, Lynch I, is a free yeah. Oh, shit. I don't know if she's going to just because of the whole Seth Rollins still being with WWE. Yeah. But I could see it happening. Yeah. I just don't, What is WWE going to use it for? Right now they're pushing Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair right, as a yeah. tag. Becky would have to tag with somebody nine chances out of ten if they kept her. Right, yeah. Or are they going to come out with another mediocre title? If Sasha Banks came back to WWE, then that's who they would probably tag with. That's true, but also interesting enough, she is in AEW, which would mean Becky Sasha over there even again. That's good for wrestling fans in general. Right, yeah. But uh, I I don't know. WWE is really interesting. At the same time, it's really not. Not much going on, but at the same time, it's like, hey, pretty cool. Interesting shit, yeah. Uh, Money in the Bank's approaching. That's interesting. Yep. Still don't know if I'm truly going to go or not. Yeah, I can't go to that either. God yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, enough with wrestling. Uh, world news. Donald Trump became the first U.S. president to be convicted of a felony. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What a world. Sure did, and I... I mean... I won't say who I am voting for. Um, actually, fuck it. Most likely, I'm probably going to vote third party because I don't care for both of them. I really don't. Yeah, I understand that completely. So, I... I have no idea what decision I am or am not making yet. I I could tell you who I'm not voting for, which is probably on the same track as you. Yeah. The one that we probably... The one that's in there right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, I didn't really bring it up to, you know, be political. I, you know, I thought it was funny. Yeah. Right. And it, it's also insane that the country's been around this long and really no president's been a felon yet. Like that's it's almost surprising. Yeah. Especially when you got guys like Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton. Right. Well, he resigned before he could be well, convicted. Yeah. 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 That's 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 classic corruption right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Anyways, I will quickly get us off of politics. Dad, please, for the love of God. <laughs> Someone got hit and killed in front of PGA Tour golf course, and Scotty Scheffler got arrested for trying to drive around traffic to get to the course and fighting an officer. Um, he was out of custody in time to make his tour tee time and play. And then the jar- I'm pretty sure the charges were dropped. That's the last line, yeah. All charges have been dropped. <laughs> what a guy. That is what money does for you. What? Yeah, basically. <laughs> um... I had on here, I injured my right finger. Yep, I, we yep. went through that already. Yep. Uh, so, uh, start bench cut for you, I guess. How you been? Start. Start, love it. I've pretty much been starting. I'll say bench for the sake of my fingers made everything ten times longer <laughs> in my life. <laughs> yep. But I've had a birthday, graduated, yep. lovely life. Yep. I don't know if you've had anything exciting happening. Just living, that's basically it. Sick. Uh... Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul boxing event postponed because Mike Tyson is having an ulcer flare up. All right, time for me to open fucking Twitter real quick, because some interesting shit that I was seeing over Twitter when I opened it up this morning because I haven't 
I've kept tabs on Twitter the last couple of days. Um, it has been rumored for sources close to Mike Tyson that he suffered from an internal blood clot, which which likely led to the ulcer as one of the conditions. Bottom line, he has lost a lot of blood, and I'm sure that the, the altitude didn't help, despite the fact that Tyson's still a warrior and will always be. I would be surprised if any self-respecting doctor would ever clear him, at least for some lengthy period of re- re- recuperation. Yep. Um, so, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul might not be happening. And the reason why, I, I reason, you, the thing that um, I got that from, because I woke up and I saw Jake Paul beefing with a little certain someone. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's not KSI, is it? It's KSI. Um... So Jake Paul said, KSI's coach say he's li- he's over 200 pounds right now. So no way excuses. Let's run it for July 20th, and then Paul Tyson in October, November. And then KSI replied with, interestingly enough, I've already got a fight lined up in August. That is true. Instead of you fighting an an o a, an OAP at the end of the year, no one wants to see this. Um, I assume old ass some yeah. someone. Fight me in December instead. Which Jake Paul replied, I just gave KSI on his forehead the opportunity again for July. He said he's fighting in August. Cool. I'm fighting in November and October. February it is. 200 pounds. MSG. NYC. Let's get it done. If it's in Madison Square Garden, we might be there. You at you and then J- KSI replied. You asked for a hundred eighty <laughs> for a one eighty five. Jake, you fraudulent twat. The old folks' home has run out of options. This is all just noise. We don't. You don't really want to fight. December. Let's run at one eighty five. No bullshit. No excuses. I hope it happens. I I need it to finally be done with it. It's twenty twenty four. If this goes into twenty twenty six, I'm over. I'm almost even over Jake Paul boxing unless he's actually going for some titles. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Like, it's it's being dragged out it's a little phenomenally bit, now. It's a little bit dragged out. We're talking about five years almost now. Yeah, the only good news for, you know, fans of fighting and everything, you guys still have one of the greatest matches of all time coming up, which is going to be Hunter versus Storm in the WTWE <laughs> for the Carlos Rodon legacy belt. Is he trash or is he a Hall of Famer? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> is he a Hall of Famer? <laughs> well, the answer to that is no. Um, Which means I win. No, that's not what that means. I, it looks like I'm favored to win based off of that statement. Okay, what are the odds? What, what, say, what are people betting? What are people betting on? <laughs> I, I would say a lot of people are betting on me. I say a lot of people are betting on me. I mean, of course we both say that. Yeah. Okay, so basically, um, I yeah, that was just my way of trying to get off this conversation, but I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> All right, I've only got two things on the list left. Okay. Uh, big celebration. I wish Hunter's thing did it's effects. Not, it's not. It's not. It's just normal thing. Yeah, but uh, Mr. Beast passed T-Series in YouTube subscribers. Yes, he's making it the most subscribed YouTube channel, not even in terms of groups. He's just the most single, the most... Subscribe person on YouTube now. Six years ever since T Series passed PewDiePie. He finally, he finally did it. Two hundred sixty six mi- fuck. Two hundred sixty six <laughs> million fucking subscribers. I I'm so happy that that brought that almost brought tears to you know tears to eyes for people who have been on YouTube for years yeah. now. And then the last thing is video games. We are getting Black Ops Six and GTA Six very close in the near future together, basically. Which is which, so exciting. Which is gaming. so fun. Which is so funny because I pointed out to him the other day that 2012, 2013, Black Ops 2 came out, yep. and then 2013, GTA uh, 5 came out. So 2024, Black Ops 6 is coming out, and fucking 2025, GTA 6 is coming out. And they better not delay GTA 6 again. Fair fucking not. But I'm a little concerned with Black Ops 6 because. What did you tell me the other day that was based on? Uh, yeah, it's allegedly based on 9-11. How the fuck are they gonna do that? Like I said, and you agreed about the only way they could do it, is to have it be a very small part of the storyline where they're walking past the desk and you just happen to see a newspaper with the headline. Because like I said, there's no real way in this world, or at all, 
that they are going to have the live action replay they fu- of what happened. Imagine they fucking I, a- animate it. I can't. It. I There's literally no fucking can't. There's way that they animate that shit. Yeah, let's fucking animate 3,000 people, innocent lives, fucking just gone like that. Just that, unreal. And I, I thought we learned with the airport scene. I th- right? Le- I... <laughs> Imagine being a kid playing Modern Warfare 2, like the story for the first time. Be- like being in the elevator with Makarov, going to the fucking airport, and just <laughs> fucking just genocide right there. And on top of that, they've got a flight to go on vacation in three days. You know how traumatized the child would be? <laughs> Oh my fucking god, yeah. Yeah. I think the one, because I think the one of the most traumatizing scenes from Call of Duty for me was, it was Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 was the first COD that I ever had. Is a scene where the, the family was in London, and they're walking around, and then this fucking truck... Or this car, this van stops right next to them, and it just fucking explodes, Close. and there's this gas, and they're all yeah. fucking dead and shit. I, I, I was... How old was I? I was. I had to be. Modern Warfare Three, probably twelve. No, I was like nine, eight or nine years that old. One, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah, twelve sh- was more like Black Ops era. Yes, I. I think I was. I was no twelve was Advanced Warfare. Yep. I was ten when Black Ops Two came out. Ghost, so I was eleven. But Advanced Warfare twelve and thirteen when Black Ops Three came out. Yeah. Which is one of my fucking fa- all, all-time favorite games. I agree. I, I wish I was good back then, because now I'm actually good. Yeah, he plays he plays the new Modern Warfare a lot. I still refuse to buy it, because I feel like it's just a fucking it's $70 extension to Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I mean, it's not 70 anymore. I At least I don't think it is. I fucking hope not. But, uh, yeah, finally reached rank 100 the other day. I, I don't binge it for that. Uh, he doesn't. He yeah. actually doesn't, know. It's rare for me to be able to play games. So, right, yeah. yeah. Um, There is something that happened today that, or recently that you haven't mentioned, which I will mention now. Um, Champions League final fucking happened. Yep. Real Madrid won a fucking course, even though I really did not want them to. I wanted <laughs> Dortmund to win so bad, but of course it's fucking Real Madrid. They win every year. And then Real Madrid did the fucking thing today. I opened up Instagram for the first time. This fucking post got 7 million likes within the first hour. Wow. Mbappe posted that he's fucking joining Real Madrid. We're we're, we're fucked. Because Real yeah. Madrid's going to win. Every, if they don't win, it, it's going to be like a Dodger situation. If they don't win at least like five Champions Leagues with him or some shit, it's a fucking failure. That's, yeah, 100%. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that. Um... I don't know how much the contract... I know it's for five years. I know that. I don't know how much it is, though. Because there was no transfer fee, so they got him for free, essentially. But I don't know how much they're paying him for... I, I don't know the, the the contract details. Is it, maybe they might release out. No, I'm going to look real quick. Yeah, might as well. That was a cool little segue that you did for like the video games and shit. Oh, yeah. That's a... Yeah. I figured we did that before in the past where I put video games last. Yeah. So I kind of just went with it. Because, yeah, that's the list. Uh, Contract details. No, I don't fucking care. Uh, are they going to give it to me? or? They're really not going to give it to me, are they? You fucking assholes. Um... Oh, this one says that, uh, that fucking, wait, what? Oh, so this is from ESPN. Okay. Uh, Yeah, uh, for five seasons, sources have told ESPN that Mbappe has signed a five-year deal worth 15 million a year after taxes. So that's only five years. So 15 times five, that's, what is that? Seven, five, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pull out a calculator. Seventy-five would be three years. You said seventy-five five years. million dollars for five years. Yeah, that's not a lot for Mbappe. Yeah, that's, that's not, not a lot. lot of money. Nope. They almost basically got him for free. For free, it? yeah, literally. Yeah, because transfers, transfer costs for in soccer and shit like that. Th those are like where it really costs a lot. Yeah. That. Wow. Seven, seventy-five million dollars for fucking Mbappe. That's it. That, yeah. Fifteen million a year. Highway robbery. Fucking robbery, yeah. And he's probably gonna win fucking championship, Champions League's fucking galore. Yeah, I, I would hope so. He better fuck his fucking hell. Like I said, it's a failure if he doesn't. Yeah. At least win two. If he doesn't yeah. only win at least two, it's a fucking failure. But hundred percent, make three even at least has to. Absolutely, yeah. Like with the Dodgers currently. Yeah. You have to win at least three World Series with them. Yeah. Which, it's really looking like I don't think they're even going to do that this year. I don't think they're winning one. You don't think they're winning one at all? Nope. I'm telling you, it's going to go Yankees this year. Yankees next year. The Mets are obviously winning in 2024. I feel like the Phillies win right after. What? Uh, 2027. Let's say what what, yep. what 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 does that say? Yep, I I uh. I've, How are they I've doing right now? Yeah, they're absolutely not winning this year. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, we have to recap this a couple months from now because they actually. Could, could you imagine? Don't say that, please. I I don't think they're going to. Don't say that, please. They're not going to make the playoffs. For the love of God, don't say that, please. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so then it's going to be the Phillies after the Mets. And then I feel like the Braves have a good chance to probably win. And then I feel like it's the Orioles' time. I mean, that's that's fair. That is fair. Um, wait. Wait a minute. You said the Yankees this year, Yankees next year, and then the Mets after that, right? Yes. That'll be 2026. Oh, okay. Not 2027. Then, then the Yankees... Three peat, obviously, because that's what we're known for. <laughs> and then the Mets, and then the Phillies, and then it's the Orioles' time. After the Braves win one. Right. Yeah. I, at least I hope the Yankees win the World Series. They better. They, I, they, they, they should. With the team that they're doing, what they have, and the, the way they're playing, they absolutely fucking should. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is episode twenty-eight of the Sports Bowl. Another in person. I think this is the third, second or third or fourth in person. Yeah. Fucking uh, podcast that we've done. Uh, but yeah. Uh, any last remarks, quotes, whatever the go fuck. Go Mavericks. Go fucking Mavericks. Let's fucking go. Um, yeah. Have a good night, boys. Good night, motherfuckers. <laughs>